In this video, I'm going to show you how to set up a glowing neon button just like you see over here. Let's get started. To add the glowing neon button, I'm going to search over here in my widgets pane for the word neon and I found the widget. So I'm going to drag that inside of Elementor in the canvas and let's see how it looks like. So it's kind of a cool looking button, call to action button, which has an animated border and a glowing hover effect. And let's go over the quick settings over here. I mean, it doesn't have too many settings, but let's go over them. So the first setting is the text. We can change that to whatever we want. For example, I'm just going to put purchase now. We can add a link, whatever link we want our call to action to do. Button typography, for example, we can change the font family. And we can change the font size. Of course, over here, you can determine if you want the size to be smaller. For example, let's go for mobile view and I want my font to be a bit smaller in mobile. I can just adjust that in mobile and you can see that the border adapts accordingly. So you don't need to do anything special with that. It will just adapt. Let's go back and see how it is bigger. Perfect. And you have all the other font settings over here inside of typography. Color is the color of the button. For example, if I want to make it kind of bluish and let's make that lighter. Now a quick tip for this neon glowing button. I think that it looks best with brighter colors. So the brighter the color, the better. I mean, it won't look so good with dark colors and it's better to put it on a dark background. So bright color on dark background, that way you'll have contrast. Let's choose this pink, for example. Here it is. And text hover color. The text hover color is the text color whenever you hover, whenever you hover. So for example, I can change this to white. And now it's changed to white. Alignment is to align it left, right, center, whatever you want. Perfect. And I'm just going to bring that back to center. And over here we have padding. The padding is the inner spacing. So we can play around with this. You should unlink the values if you want to play around with it, if you don't want the same value for all sides. And this field is also responsive. So for example, if I change the top and bottom to 25, now the button is higher. If I want it to be wider, I would add padding on the left and right. So let's go for 70. And now you can see the button is bigger. So the way you make the button bigger is by adding padding or by making the text bigger inside of button typography. Cool, I think I went over all the settings and everything is clear. This is just a cool small effect to spice up your website. If you like this tutorial, please subscribe to our YouTube channel and I will see you in the next video.